everyone. We hope you're just as excited about the new Pretty Actions film collection as we are. This is an amazing collection that is just jam-packed with so many wonderful and beautiful actions and we're going to go ahead and preview them here in this video. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started here. I have my film collection open here in my actions panel. Now this collection does include processing actions. I'm just going to scroll through real quick here. You have your mini retouch set, your all-in-one filmy actions, and there's 22 in all. You also have your play all option to click on that Play all of the 22 all-in-one actions and uh, click and preview each one, making your edit super fast and super easy. And there's also eight beautiful black and white filmy actions. We have some add-ons as well with some beautiful vignettes, center light, add some extra matte, some extra film. Some of my favorites are the soft focus and the blurred edges just to get that nice a uh, creamy look on your image. Okay, there's some green options. The real star of the set, super, super fun to play with, is the bonus light leaks, and we'll play with those here in just a moment. Now you also have brushes, uh, dodging and burning to lighten and darken specific areas of your image, as well as a rich filmy background and the light filmy background. And we've got our workflow actions at the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and scroll back up here and we're going to edit this image. We've got four different edits that we're just going to breeze through here to show you the real beauty and power of this collection. Okay, I'm going to scroll down towards the bottom of my pretty film actions here and select Chantilly Lace. And I'm just going to press play. Okay, there we go, beautiful. I love the look of this action. Now, the nice thing about actions is you can click on the actual opacity and move that opacity around till you find it's really working best for your image. Now I'm going to bring this one up to about 50%. Okay, and next I'm going to run Sunbeam, which is in the bonus light leaks. Okay, these are so much fun to play with. I'm going to click on Sunbeam and press play. This is my light leak. Look how beautiful that is. Beautiful light just leaking right into the image here. Now, some of the light leak is on the subject here, so very simple fix. I'm going to make sure my layer mask is selected, which it will automatically be selected after playing the action. I'm going to grab my brush, make sure black is the foreground color. When working with layer masks, black conceals. Okay, and I'm just going to click right over her face here and remove some of that. Now I can make my brush larger, remove a little bit more. Look at that nice before and after with that beautiful light leak. I'm loving it. And uh, I did take a snapshot earlier. Let's take another snapshot here and get a real quick before and after. Okay, loving it. Let's move on to our second image here and we're going to add a nice filmy look. Uh, let's go ahead and run Daydream on this image. Here we go. And I'm going to press play. Okay, and we're gonna keep that right around 40%. I really like that. I'm going to make a few changes within the action itself. Each action you can make your own to really just fit and customize uh, that particular image. Now, if you're using Photoshop Elements, scroll to the bottom of your collection and play the open folder action. Okay, so I'm just going to make a few changes. I'm going to turn the airy layer off. And I'm also going to turn the peach film off as well. And we're going to close that action. I'm just pressing the little, or clicking on the little triangle here. And next we're going to run our jewel vignette. Okay, so I'm going to my film add-ons here. And here we have our jewel film vignettes. I'm going to press play, continue and open my folder here. And for this particular image, we're going to use amethyst. Look at that, that's beautiful. Now it's a little bit strong, so I'm just going to bring the opacity down. 
Just a little bit more here, about 47%. I'm really liking that. Okay, so moving on, we're going to add some warm highlights. Okay, press play. And we're going to bring that down a little bit here. I actually find it very easy to take the opacity down to 0%. Just work your way up till you find that's working nicely with your image. Okay, let's add a little bit more film. I'm going to click on more film. We're still in our film add-ons here. Okay, beautiful. Again, I'm going to bring that opacity down. Okay, and let's just keep that right around 45%, 42. Okay, and moving on, we are, of course, going to run another bonus light leak. Uh, okay, and let's go ahead and use soft rainbow. Okay, I'm going to press play. Now, we'll definitely want to bring the opacity down on this one, and we'll get a really nice look. I'm gonna bring that down to about 40, 46%, okay? And I'm just going to remove some of the top right here. And if you don't want to remove all of it, but some of it, you can take your brush opacity down as well. Keep in mind, I still have my brush selected and black is the foreground color. Okay, and I'm just going to click and remove some of that. I wanna make sure she doesn't have any on her face, so I'm just clicking over her face here as well. Okay, very nice, I'm loving it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at another before and after here. I'm going to take a real quick snapshot before and after. Beautiful. Okay, we've got two more quick edits here. And for this particular image, we're going to start off with a filmy center light. So let's go back to our add-ons. Okay, press play. Look at that, just a nice, beautiful light flowing and streaming through the middle of the image here. We're going to brighten the image a little bit. I'm going to scroll all the way up here and select brighten and press play. All right, we're going to change the opacity and just bring that down a little bit. I'm going to keep it right around 47. And I'm going to open this folder and just turn the keep contrast layer off. Notice I'm just doing that by clicking on the eyeball. Let's go back to filmy center light. I just want to bring a little bit more uh, of that light to the middle of the image. So we're going to bring that opacity up to about 50% there. Okay, so moving on, let's go ahead and run filmy color and add a little bit of uh, a color pop in the image, okay? We're here in our pretty film all-in-one actions. All right, and let's go ahead and just take the opacity down just a little bit here. I'm going to open the folder and take away some of the sharpening or all of the sharpening from the sharpen layer by turning that off, okay? Just a subtle change. And uh, next, let's go ahead and run clean film warm right here at the top. Okay, and I'm just going to bring up the opacity on this one. I'm loving the look. This is uh, one of my favorite all-in-one actions. Uh, and we're just going to bring that up to about 65 or 64%. Okay, and I'm gonna open it up and make just a few changes within the action itself. We're going to turn on the filmy darken layer and just bring that opacity down Oh, to about 5%, that's really nice. Okay, and let's go down to filmy depth. And I'm going to change that and just bring it up a little bit. Add a little bit more depth to the image. We'll keep that right around 27%. And let's go ahead and scroll down to color pop. Okay, and you know what, I'm gonna keep that, let's go ahead and keep that right at 55%. And we're going to add another light leak. Okay, so uh, for this particular image, we're going to add pastel dream. Okay, right here at the top, I'm going to press play. And real quick here with the light leaks, I do want to show you that you can move them around a bit. If you just click on your move tool here in your tools panel, 
you uh, you can just hover directly outside of the image and click and drag and flip it to the other side. Okay, press enter when you're done. Or you can also uh, make sure you have that layer selected. Go to file uh, or edit rather, sorry, transform and then flip horizontal. And you'll of course have to click on that layer and move that around uh, to fit your image. I, I'm just going to go back before I had moved it around, but do know that you can do that and have tons of fun with the light leaks. So I'm really loving this one just as is. I'm going to go ahead and grab my brush and just dab a little bit off of her face there. Okay, nice before and after. And let's move on to our last image here and take a look at the black and white actions. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll up a little bit more here. We're going to click on Maven and press play. Now you also have a play all action for your black and white action. So that just really makes the collection very fun and efficient when editing, which is always great. Uh, I'm actually going to leave this one as is. Okay, and let's go ahead and add a little bit of grain. Uh, grain is tons of fun with film, especially when you're using black and white. So I'm going to scroll down and select film grain options and press play. Okay, and here you can preview the different options and we're going to select film grain three. Okay, and you can also click on the opacity and bring that down, change it a little bit. Uh, to suit your particular image and we're done. Let's go ahead and take a look at a real quick before and after here. Okay, again, I'm just taking a quick snapshot. Gorgeous. This set is a dream to work with and we're so excited to be able to share this with you all.